the state does not get enough money. What? You haven't decided whether to attend Porcupine Festival this year? June 22nd through the 29th in gorgeous Lancaster, New Hampshire, this year's event focuses on gun building, self-reliance training, and great music. The $75 price goes up to 100 bucks, and you'll need to pay at the door if you don't register by May 31st. Porkfest.com Are you on the Conservation Commission? Yes. I've got a question for you. Um, I understand that been, I heard one of the commissioners, it sounded like he was almost bragging that, that Lebanon was only 30% developed. And I just wondered if you guys had been stopping people from building, to, you know, uh, have you cost any jobs by doing that? No, I don't, not at all. I'm sure we're not, first of all, we're only advisory, so we have no, um, direct control over anything that uh, we advise on and um, you know our job primarily is to look at um, impingements on wetlands and conservation areas and we're pretty much limited to that. Well I got the, I got the impression from listening to the city manager's YouTube show and probably a cable show also um, that, that you guys had spent actually 1.7 million dollars more or less yourselves over the last 20 years on, on beautification projects. It sounds like more, more than an advisory role to me. On Am I, what? Did I misunderstand something? Or? On, on what? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I think the money was spent on just various beautification projects and open space, that kind of thing. Oh, but we, do, we do have a fund for uh, buying critical areas or, you know, buying yeah. easements on, on uh, lands that are uh, critical to wetland and wildlife. So it is kind of, in a sense, that's more, that's more than advisory. I mean, that's, that's, it's, it's, could it be considered using taxpayer dollars? Um, in a way it, it is, it's, well, it's current use, it's the current use change tax. In other words, when money comes, uh, when a developer buys a large tract of land that's been in current use, the, you, the money from the change tax can go to the Conservation Commission because people in Lebanon frankly believe that it's important to maintain a quality of life, clean environment in Lebanon. Well, what about a minority person, that, right, by, by them, if, even, even if they're by themselves and they don't want to contribute to that, are they forced to? Um, no one is forced to, no, no. It's, it's the current use change tax. Nobody's, I mean, it's not, you know, grabbing your taxes and, and, and uh, buying what we think is important. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, well, I don't know if, enough about it to say that it is or it isn't. I was just curious. Okay. All right, thanks so much. Could I have thanks. your name? Are you on the Conservation Commission? Ms. Alman, I've got a question for you. You're always late whenever I talk to you. to taxpayers annually for running this commission? 
do you receive any federal grants? What's the cost to taxpayers annually for funding this commission? What's the, what does this commission cost taxpayers annually? Um, but is there any expense associated with running the commission other than the non-salaries? <laughs> Howdy. Hi. What's your objective? Hi, Dave Ridley, HearTheReport.com. Uh, my objective no, wait, is to ask questions. Wait. For instance, this one. Representative Valma, you're a, an advocate of increased state revenue, correct? Um, I am an advocate of adequate state revenue for the essential services of our state, which the citizens have asked for. Is that currently being met, you would no, you say? No, it is not being met. The state doesn't have enough money. And so I spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to provide those essential services without revenue. Well, I mean, if you think the state's not getting enough money, I mean, it sounds kind of like you're saying it's not getting enough money if it's not meeting its essential services. The then state does not get enough money okay. for the essential services, so we are doing the best we can with what little we have and we are falling behind and we are governing by lawsuit at this point. And if that is what you want, you go ahead. Well, if the state's, you see, I mean, the state's got enough money to put potheads in jail. How can you say it has a need for more money? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Porkfest.com.